Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. It's Timo, Timo Paints. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the number one mistake that I have seen other DIY painters and quite honestly, professional painters do when doing small uh, texture repairs, um, particularly knockdown texture. Uh, before I get into that, though, uh, if you guys are interested in starting your own paint business or if you're interested in getting the perfect bid every single time, uh, check the links in the description below and the pinned comment. So, I know you guys know what this is, the Homax wall texture. If you don't know what this is, this is a quick, easy way to fix a small area that needs a texture repair in your home or on your paint job. Uh, you can get it at any local hardware store. I like to use the water-based stuff. Uh, the water-based stuff, you got to make sure you shake it up. Now, one of two things that I see I very often with these repairs is one is they don't dig out. So I had a big bulge here. What happens is the house settled and it started to bulge out. So we dug all that out using knives like a razor knife and a putty knife and then we skimmed it flat made sure it was nice in a flat surface uh, now from that point you want to make sure you wrap off the every area around it where you do not want the texture to go um, you, this stuff will wipe down with the rag but why go around looking for white texture on white surfaces when you could just go and throw some paper up and that brings me to the next reason always test your can test your can using that brown paper because you don't want to spray it runny if you spray it runny it starts to run down the wall you have to scrape it off and start all over so don't do that so number two major mistake that i noticed when diy painters apply this texture stuff onto walls is they forget to knock it down uh, now the texture when they apply it originally they spray it on heavily like you see here um you you spray it on but then the next step is you have to wait a few minutes let a few minutes go by and get you a knife you need a nice clean knife that's gonna be able to fit into the area that you're gonna do and you want to keep it hardly any pressure and basically you just drag it across what you sprayed and what this does is it knocks it down a little bit so it's flat and it makes it blend into the surrounding area so biggest thing i noticed don't forget to run your knife over it and knock it down so all right guys Hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget, if you're interested in starting your own paint business, uh, check the description links below and the, the comment links below. It'll be pinned. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.